uh, Gail Ananta, who is the owner uh, and the managing director of Ananta Creative Group based in Princeton. Gail. Thank you. Thank you, Isaac. It is so nice to be here tonight, and I just to see a room full of so many familiar faces. Um, as Isaac just mentioned, we are um, a business in Princeton, so we are not only um, a creative partner with Experience Princeton in creating the, the brand identity and the logo, but we're also a member of the SIT, and I think that's really important. Um, personally, I I have loved Princeton since the very first time I came here. Um, had no idea I'd ever be living here, having a business here. It was always my dream, and I can't even you know, um, I can't even speak to how much I appreciate being here and being involved in this particular project. Um, I'd like to introduce you to a couple other people on our team who have helped me tremendously, uh, and that would be uh, Matt Pilsner. He's my um, my business partner. He's our photographer, operations director. He's also at 4:15 today, I believe, launching the Experience Princeton website. <laughs> Right, uh, right live in front of you, that's why he's got his laptop. Um, once we do this reveal, we will launch a new website. Michael Quancy, who is a very important person. He's a very important person today because he is the logo designer, but he's a very important person to us every day because he's a very integral part of our, of our team here in Princeton. Um, so to that, I'd like to ask you all to think, um, when you think about experiencing Princeton, and, just when you think about Princeton, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, don't overthink it, don't analyze it, just the first thing that pops in your head. And kind of tuck that away. Um, because that is, that was a big part of the process for coming to where we are right now with this brand identity, is we understood from the very beginning that, um, I'm sorry, I wasn't talking loud enough. <laughs> we understood from the very beginning that the name Princeton already meant so much to so many different people. Um, there was such a strong brand identity, and where were we going to go with that? Um, people already had a very strong feeling about it. A lot of people did. Um, and we started basically engaging in dialogue with everyone we could. And trust me, I asked everyone I have come in contact with for the past two months, what does Princeton mean to you? And we got all kinds of different answers, and the kind of words that came up were you know, traditional, cultural, um, iconic, sophisticated, um, and you know, all these words that really implied excellence and innovation, invent inventiveness. Um, but what also really came across um, was that Princeton, while it is so prestigious and the name carries so much, it is really a very, very friendly, welcoming, and open, diverse, and inclusive community. And I think that's what we love so much about and why we're so happy to be a part of this community. Um, and, we, and that really needed to come across more than um, almost anything else when we were <coughs> identifying the personality of Princeton. Yes, it's, you know, we have the university. Um, but we also have, you know, all these coffee shops and, and hangouts, and we've got the arts, we've got MacArthur Theater, we've got all these uh, wonderful things that Aubrey was talking about that maybe we don't even think about because we're here all the time. The other thing that's really unique about this special improvement district is that the geography uh, is very broad. Most special improvement districts, and we do work with another one um, in New Jersey, we do um, really enjoy this kind of work, um, getting to know all the different business owners, but they're often restricted in a very specific geographic area, often downtown, in a downtown district. Um, you often hear of different towns having um, like a love, like a, a, you know, a local support local campaign and having a whole downtown area that they support as part of the special improvement district. Here in Princeton, it is not just Palmer Square, it is not just the shopping center, or Route 1, or the university, or Nassau Street, it is all of those things. So that was our challenge. So I've just identified our challenge. We have a name that everybody already has a strong association with, and we have a geographic area that we're trying to define that is very, uh, that is broad and very diverse. And what we, Michael, would you like to come, <laughs> can come up? <laughs> Michael, our uh, logo designer. So when we, we took all the... Um, 
We can clap after yes. you reveal something. <laughs> Everybody, I'll stop talking. I know you're just more no, interested in this. this is um, very good. You, you have your time. So but, so we've identified this, you know, the personality of Princeton as being very uh, warm and welcoming and lively and vibrant and sophisticated and yet unassuming and just all these, um, these wonderful characteristics that make it not just a place to come and to do business and to live and to, you know, engage in cultural activities, but just a place to come and have fun and hang out. Um, people just really, that's what I was hearing more and more as I was talking to people. We like to come here and meet like we are tonight. People come here to have business meetings, they come here to see friends, they, they network like I do with the Princeton Chamber. Um, and we really wanted that to, to come across. And as you're out and exploring and networking and meeting and engaging with all of your friends and colleagues and business uh, partners, you are along the way you are exploring and you are seeing all kinds of all kinds of different things whether it's a new coffee shop a new flavor of ice cream a new play at mccarter there's constantly new things to discover while you're in princeton and they could be about princeton and they can also be about yourself you can come here and you can reflect you can take a ceramics class at the um, arts council of princeton you can take a stroll by the the canal there's um, so many wonderful ways to to experience princeton very personally and um, professionally. So, to that, ta da! <laughs> uh -huh. But I'd like to talk a little bit about the color orange, um, and then I'm going to hand the microphone over to um, Michael. Just like the name Princeton was um, iconic and had to be included in the name of this organization, and that was challenging because we didn't want it to be. Couldn't just call it Princeton. Um, it couldn't be more than two words. So it had to be something Princeton or um, or Princeton something. And again, we came up with experience Princeton being about the entire the entirety of the experience of being in Princeton. Another thing that we found is that the color orange is so so identifiable with not just the university but with with the town of Princeton. And while we started off in the process is not really. We didn't want to copy that. We didn't want to look like the Princeton University logo, and we certainly don't. But we found by getting away from the orange that we were really um, missing the mark a little bit because just having a touch of orange and a splash of orange really just also, just like the name Princeton, the color orange also speaks to a strong identity that Princeton already had. 